Hello everybody, this is Sangeeta Saxena, Editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Parc de Exposition of Paris. I'm here for Euro Saturday 2024. And before I begin to tell you what is Euro Saturday, the most exciting thing about this year's Euro Saturday is that it is setting up a live TV set from the exhibition. <coughs> Fred is cold here. Delhi was sweltering and here it's chilly, windy and um, it's actually nipping you off, you know. So it's really, really cold. And um, for five days, uh, we have Euro Saturday beginning formally on 17th. I'm a little early here, friends, so that, uh, you know, I get to do the making of the show. I get to understand what is new at the show. And uh, I arrived here yesterday evening on the 14th, uh, which is the 14th, uh, which was 14th. And uh, I'm here uh, today, uh, you know, trying to get you stories and exhibitors news from the uh, venue. And uh, let me tell you more about that live set before I start with other things. So every year, every uh, day, you know, for, for all the five days, you will have senior leaders, international personalities, industry leaders who are here. And they will all come and uh, you will get uh, to see live all the new latest news from the defense and security sector and in replay you will also get reports and descriptions and interviews so this uh, tv set is a part of the eurosatri's mission to promote uh, exchanges and meetings as a place of reflection for the world community for defense and security as actually very interesting friends and uh, the most exciting thing is that this year there are 2015 uh, exhibitors from world over and uh, more than uh, 40 countries participating, uh, small and big both. Then you have uh, one very interesting thing again, you know, is uh, uh, there is a, there's something new for startup. Startup is the word. It's the key word nowadays. And um, it's the in thing. Uh, it's it, nobody wants to work. Everybody wants to study and become an entrepreneur. And uh, startup is a great uh, system everywhere. We in India, of course, know after Israel, India is the biggest uh, startup nation. And uh, here at Eurosatry, there is a lab for startups. It's called the Eurosatry Lab. And uh, it is a space of more than 1,000 meters square. More than uh, 60 startups will present their innovation solutions and technologies uh, for the international uh, defense and security ecosystem, which is uh, here and you know it is uh, it says it's a conglomeration of everyone who matters in the defense and security industry so it gives them a real platform you know to showcase uh, Eurosatry lab is a you know lever in the quest of disruptive innovations that will make a difference in the field of military defense and civil security so you you'll see things like hypersonics new materials 3d printing uh, inexhaustible energy resources, which is very important. Keeping sustainability is the only story coming out of the world nowadays. And then you've got genomics, then you've got artificial intelligence, which is again a very big key word and a very important thing nowadays. Big data, cloud-based computing, internet of things and blockchain, you know, so anything which is uh, latest technology, state of the art, you will see here. The lab, uh, uh, the Eurosatry lab is uh, it's a, it's an opportunity to actually create win-win partnerships with startups. So the big companies who will come see the startups, if they find something promising, they will request the startups to do that part of work for them so it really cre creates a platform for uh, buyer and seller both and uh, when it comes to uh, uh, you know sales and purchase but also when it comes to you know research and innovation it gives a platform for R&D to all the big ones you know it's always nice to have a startup doing something for them very exclusively so it uh, helps them you know to um, uh, collate a lot of things together and uh, for the startups, it's an opportunity absolutely to consolidate these partnerships and, uh, you know, like I said, join collaborative R&D projects and then integrate open innovation programs. There will be a lot of meetings. We'll see friends, representatives of technology and uh, companies, entrepreneurs, conferences, there'll be pitchings. I think it's going to be a very interesting Euro Saturday. And uh, then, you know, uh, 
there is a, a thing called a technology cluster. So this time there are a lot of technology clusters. So these technology clusters will bring together companies from common activities and themes in the same area of the exhibition. So you don't have to run here and there and everywhere. If you want to find drones and robotics, that's one area. Embedded electronics is one area. Training and simulation, one area. Engineering and manufacturing, one area. NCT CBRN, you know, so that is one area. Then research, tests and measurements, one area. Intelligence, one area. Cyber security and sci uh, other cyber matters, one area. Then you also have civil security and fire firefighting, you know. So that is again another area. Then technologies for infrastructure security, which is a very important thing nowadays with highly critical and uh, sensitive infrastructure everywhere. It's a very important thing. So they have one area exclusively for themselves. Then there's a medical cluster, friends. So that again has a exclusive area, you know, re evacuate, you know, you uh, have, uh, you know, everything which, uh, which is related to uh, evacuation. You'll see them and, uh, you know, you'll also see live demos of how people are saved uh, in extreme conditions, climates, accidents, uh, calamities. So it's a medical cluster, which is again there. And there's a cluster for human support and logistics. So at the end of the day, it's a very interesting thing to see, you know, uh, you'll find all of them together under one uh, roof and in one area. And uh, it makes it easy for uh, our people like us also. It makes it very easy for us to go and uh, see, you know. So I think at the end of the day, that also is a very nice thing to have happened. And, uh, you know, you know, Saturday, friends, we've been covering for years and years and years. And uh, every time there's something new, every time there's something uh, uh, which adds on to its uh, ability. So I think it's uh, wonderful. This, uh, and friends, let me tell you, that's, that's not all, you're not always inside. So you have a lot of exhibits also. So there's an exhibition zone. And um, you, many of us would be surprised that uh, in a show which is land systems, there is an exhibition zone for helicopters. So uh, it's, it's actually interesting to see. It will feature the French Army's light aircraft fleet, you know. So you have the EC-665 Tiger. And uh, which is Airbus helicopters, then you got NH90 Cayman, which is NH Industries. Then you also have a US Army Aviation's, uh, you know, Apache, so uh, which is AH64. And then you have a, a UH60 Blackhawk, Sikorsky, friends. And you also have a Chinook, CH47 Chinook from Boeing. So it's going to be quite a, a lot of these flying birds, you know. Uh, they, they make life so exciting and interesting. And together with helicopters currently under development, you'll find H-160 uh, Gepard, then which is Airbus helicopters. And then you'll have AW249 Fennec, which is Leonardo. And um, in addition to this outdoor zones, friends, these are all outdoors. You also have a H-175M helicopter, which is uh, displayed in the Airbus stand. It will be accompanied by a VSR-700 unmanned reconnaissance helicopter. So it's, uh, it's absolutely interesting to see how we uh, this time will see an additional unmanned helicopter here at the show. And uh, I think friends, it's uh, just going to be wonderful. Two days left and I'm just counting down, you know, and um, I just, I'm just waiting for it to finish. And I'm just waiting for Monday morning to begin. There are going to be a lot of conferences, friends. You'll have conferences, you'll have, uh, so there's one on 17th, you have one on challenges and prospects of laser communication and maritime defense promises to be interesting. Then uh, you have one on, uh, uh, you know, what is this one on uh, UAVs and UAS again the same day. And uh, so I, I think at the end of the day, there are a lot and lot of things which, you know, you will see here. And uh, uh, there's a list of conferences, which friends, I'll get you. Uh, so, because this podcast becomes a little uh, too long, you know, if I get you every conference by this, so I'll get you conferences by day by day and you'll come to know from 17 to 21st what is happening. And, um, uh, you know, then, uh, of course, uh, there are going to be live demonstrations like always at Euro Saturday. I think it has the best live demonstrations. So you can actually come and see what is uh, happening. You know, you will find uh, it, it's a very wonderful scenario which they create. 
So they'll have the, uh, you know, it's a, you'll have the GIGN, which is a national gendarmerie intervention group. Then, then you've got a BRI, which is a police search and intervention unit. Then you'll have RAID, which is, you know, uh, it's for a uh, tactical unit uh, belonging to the French police. Then you've got the French army, of course, you know, there. And they'll have all these uh, staged performances. And, and it's actually wonderful to see. You just have to see to believe it. And uh, they, you, they'll give you everything. They'll also take, last time, friends, when I was here, they did a live one on how to, uh, you know, get out terrorists who are hiding in Afghanistan. And they gave that. So, it's, it's you know, they'll also create a complete uh, scenario for you with the terrain and with everything. So, it's, it's actually very, very interesting. And uh, I think something which uh, cannot be missed at all. And uh, exhibitors also have their events, friends. So, uh, all days from 17th to 21st, something or the other will continuously happening, uh, you know, will be happening here. And uh, all exhibitors will try to showcase, they'll have working models, they'll have moving models. And um, it'll be very interesting to see uh, these, you know. So, I think at the end of the day, uh, it does uh, turn out to be one of the best, uh, you know, land system shows. And uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time. It's just one and a half days. And friends, we're just going to now uh, keep uh, get the countdown rolling. And uh, I'm going to get you these podcasts every day, friends. Tomorrow is the media day at the uh, Bagdi Exposition. And the media gets an exclusive full day view of what is going to happen, including live demos. And uh, I'll, I'll just get everything live to you, friends. So for today, I think I, we just need to wrap up. I'm on my way to Dunkirk to do a battle track of the World War II battle zone. And uh, hope to see you guys, friends, uh, you know, again, meet you here. And uh, just keep your ears nice and clean and ready to listen to everything I have to say from here. Uh, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, signing off from Paris at Parc de Exposition. Uh, we are waiting for Eurosatry to begin, friends.